Hey everyone, Phil Stevenson, Mortgage Nerd here, coming to you with this week's rate update. It's an important one because today is July 30th, Tuesday. Tomorrow on Wednesday the 31st, the Fed is going to have their meeting and they're going to decide if they're going to drop the adjustable rate, the Fed fund rate, or not. I heard someone say they might increase it. I doubt that's going to happen at all. So why is it important? If the Fed drops the fund rate, the adjustable rate, the short-term rate uh, loans rate, if they drop that, it could have an effect on fixed rate long-term mortgages. But we don't know if it's going to drop the rates or increase the rates. Why? Everybody thinks, oh, well, the Fed says they're dropping rates and the long-term fixed rate mortgages should drop too. Not necessarily. It all depends on what, how the markets feel that decision is going to affect inflation. So if the mortgage bond market and the stock market and all the markets feel that uh, it's going to cause inflation to go up, which that's why you raise the adjustable rate because you want to slow inflation. So if you're dropping it, it could stimulate inflation. If it stimulates inflation, then the fixed rates are going to go up as well. But if it doesn't, if it keeps inflation from going up, or at least they think that there's not going to be inflation because of it, then we will see some good drops in, in the interest rates. So let's look at what's been happening in the last couple of days. We'll go right here to the charts. So you see over here, we're a zero change today at the end of the day. What's happened is, that's the mortgage bonds on the left, over here on the right is the U.S. Treasuries. No big difference, it was the same yesterday. Very little movement up or down. You can see right here, see these candlesticks, how tight and small they are? From Friday, Monday, Tuesday, you see last Thursday there was a lot of movement, but they've stayed really steady because they're waiting for this news. This is huge news that's coming out. Uh, we haven't seen the Fed drop the rate in years. Uh, it's only been going up. So, so that's what's important. Now for us, you know, we've got these two levels of resistance in the mortgage bonds. We've got this Fibonacci level, we've got this moving day average here uh, that are keeping, giving us some support, meaning if it drops, then rates could go up. So that's helping us keep where we are. Now if we go to the treasuries, you're gonna see similar. Oh, there we go, oops. All right, so, I'm going to draw a line because look at look at how interesting this is, how we've been overall pretty flat since June. We saw these drops in treasuries, means rates were going down, and then we've been flat, relatively so. There's always ups and downs, but for the most part, we've been flat for the last almost two months uh, with the treasuries. And... Eventually here, we're going to see a big move. They're expecting down, treasuries to go down, which means the fixed rate mortgages will go down. Uh, the same with going up with the bonds. But let's see what happens tomorrow. Remember, if anybody says tomorrow that fixed rates are going down because the Fed said so, and they don't know what I just said right here, they don't tell you the, the explanation about how it affects inflation, they really don't know what they're talking about. I locked a few people. Actually, I gave people a choice this week. Told them everything I just told you. I said, now you could lock today or we can gamble and we can see what happens with this Fed change. Almost everybody said, I don't want to gamble. I like where the rates are. We're going to take it. Uh, there's a couple refinances that we can wait. It's not a purchase. So we're gambling on those. We're going to see what comes up. So if you're working with someone that doesn't know what the heck they're talking about with rates, they're definitely not a mortgage nerd like me. Hope you like the logos on the step and repeat behind me. Um, thanks for nerding out with me. Till next time.